Dag and Fell, the village at the end of the world. There's just there is something mystical and alluring about this tiny town where the map ends. Surrounded as it is by the massive monuments of lost civilizations, Shax admits the ruins of giants. Dagenfell has always been one of my favorite towns in Morrowind. Its isolation in the rough wilds of the Shulgrand, where it calls to adventure can be found at every curve and bend in the road, uh, even the aesthetics of Dagenfell is one I find particularly pleasing, uh, even with no other mods installed. Uh, for there's just, there is something just undeniably charming about this only bastion of civilization in the harsh northern wilds. Unsurprisingly, uh, for such an iconic location, uh, there are just a fair number of town and city overhauls for Dagenfell. And uh, for today's Mod of the Day, uh, we're actually going to be taking a look at two of them. Or, well, technically, three of them. For today's Mod of the Day are Nordic Dagenfell and Nordic Dagenfell NPCs by Random Pal, and Dagenfell Redone by Marcond. Uh, basically, uh, these three mods offer different visions of a more distinctly Nordic-looking Dagenfell. Uh, as, after all, uh, Dagenfell is supposed to be a bit of a Nordic fishing village. And uh, before we begin, I, I, I would just I would like to take a note that all these mods are compatible with Dagenfell Night Tanks, as well as Spines of Madness and Beautiful Cities of Morrowind. But, uh, now that we've got all that out of the way, uh, we have been showing off just some footage for Random Pals Nordic Dagenfell for the intro here. But, I'd like to actually kick things off with the more recently released Dagenfell Redone by Marcond. And uh, this mod uh, takes things in, in a bit of a different direction from your typical Dagenfell city overhaul. Now, historically, uh, the concept of Nordifying Dagenfell is, is not a new one. Uh, the, the idea of replacing the architecture of Dagenfell with more Nordic variants has uh, long been a staple of Dagenfell overhauls. But uh, where Dagenfell Redone has done things differently is that it, it takes Nordic architecture from Temriel Data, and uh, specifically Skyrim, Home of the Nords and it replaces all the buildings and docks in Dagenfell with these newer Skyrim assets. The result is just is a complete and utter transformation of Dagenfell, giving the city just a rather distinct and unique look, uh, different from other Imperial settlements in Morrowind, uh, many of which use the common Nordic architecture tile set. Instead, a Dagenfell will now look like a little slice of Skyrim uh, transported into the Isles of Morrowind, with buildings that rather invoke a colder climate. The actual layout of Dagenfell is, uh, is pretty much the same. The shacks have been replaced with Nordic shacks, the tower has been replaced with a windmill, and the tavern and shop have been given new Nordic architecture that, that, that still basically fits the same shape as their vanilla counterparts. Uh, given that Dagenfell is a historically Nordic settlement, uh, populated pretty much entirely by Nords, I, I do think it does make a bit of sense for it to have a more distinct style of architecture compared to the other towns and villages of Morrowind. But uh, obviously, you know, this is a bit of a departure from the vanilla game, and uh, pretty much just every other city overhaul out there, so you know, y you might feel just a bit differently. But uh, regardless, uh, as you might expect, uh, this mod also includes an overhaul for Dagenfell's interiors. Uh, giving them new interiors to match their new exteriors, uh, largely just uh, keeping to their original vanilla layout, uh, while also adding in some Nordic style finishings. A, a perfect example of this is the End of the World Tavern, uh, possibly my favorite interior in this mod, uh, which adds some new stone and wooden interior walls with uh, lots of Nordic furniture just replacing the chairs and tables that were, you know, here previously. And uh, you can just you can get a really good sense of the changes here from the end of the world rental rooms, uh, which have these these simply fantastic chandelier candle horns lighting the hallways, and a lovely and atmospheric use of rug and wall hangings, uh, to just uh, to really make you feel like that you've been transported to a town out west in Skyrim, uh, you know instead of just the northern edge of Morrowind. 
Another big change here is with the local trade shop, which has a completely new interior. With more of that Nordic furniture and just uh, some really atmospherically well-placed windows. Uh, not every interior has seen a uh, quite the uh, quite the attention to detail as the tavern and shop do. For while these take a liberal use of the new Skyrim assets are provided for in Tamriel data, a, a lot of these shack interiors have just have simply been converted over to the new interior shack tile set, with few, if any, uh, changes made to their finishings, uh, keeping just largely the same layout as the vanilla game. Uh, this leads to just uh, some rather interesting design choices. Uh, like, uh, for example, uh, open fire pits on top of wooden floors. Which, uh, which feels like, you know, just a bit of a, just an obvious fire hazard, but uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but uh, probably not. But uh, either way, uh, this is, uh, this is just a really unique and atmospheric overhaul for Dagenfell. And uh, one that definitely just stands out a bit from the pack with a different vision for this fabled northern village. That said though, uh, let's move on and take a look at Random Pals, Nordic Dagenfell, and the optional NPC add-on. Unlike a Dagenfell Redone, uh, Nordic Dagenfell takes a more uh, subtle approach to overhauling a Dagenfell, replacing some, but not all, of these shacks with common Nordic architecture to uh, to just give the village a more established Nordic feel that uh, still stays true to the look of an Elmara Wind. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, this is hardly the first city overhaul to take this approach. I, I I think the first mod to replace Dagenfell shacks with Nordic architecture was uh, maybe a uh, Carrot Ferret's 2016 mod Winds of the Shugorad, uh, semi copied later by mods like Marin du Berth and the 2020 mod Shugorad Groves of the North. But uh, Nordic Dagenfell keeps just a, a rather nice ratio of shacks to Nordic buildings. Uh, rather than just, you know, replacing all of them with new architecture. And uh, that feels, you know, that, that feels perhaps just a bit more natural. And uh, Nordic Dagenfell also adds in a bit of clutter just, you know, here and there, with uh, some fishing nets and rowboats just down by the shore. Now, in addition to overhauling the building to Dagenfell, uh, there's also our third mod here at Random Pals Nordic Dagenfell NPCs. Uh, which can be used with either Nordic Dagenfell uh, or uh, Dagenfell Redone. And uh, this mod just gives the NPCs at Dagenfell some uh, more culturally appropriate Nordic clothing from Tamriel Data. Uh, so, you know, they'll actually look more distinct and, uh, you know, will have a more Nordic appearance uh, compared to the clothing just, uh, you know, worn by the rest of the residents of Morrowind. Uh, this covers, I believe, just all the NPCs in Dagenfell, and it's a, it's a pretty great showcase of just the amazing assets included in Terminal Data, uh, with a lot of those lovely Nordic stylized shirts, vests, skirts, and trousers. But uh, anyway, uh, getting back to Nordic Dagenfell though, uh, as you might imagine, uh, given that this does replace the exteriors for some of the shacks, uh, this also adds in some new interiors to match those new exteriors. And uh, you can see some of these just new replacement interiors here. And uh, while they do kind of just match the layout of their vanilla shack counterparts, uh, they also have some new furnishings, uh, particularly in terms of wall hangings and rugs, as well as a few other just various new additions. Like uh, one of these interiors uh, now has a little loft, with a cozy little bedroll and a few containers. Uh, likewise, uh, the tavern has also just been slightly overhauled, though notably this is just a, you know, a lot more lightweight than the overhaul in Dagenfell Redone, uh, focusing just again uh, more on the rugs and wall hangings uh, rather than replacing the furniture wholesale. Uh, you can also just especially see the difference here with the end of the world renter rooms, where the new wall furnishings are just especially noticeable, but uh, the furniture is largely the same as the vanilla game. And uh, just to finish up the comparison, uh, here's the trade shop, uh, which again is mostly the same. Uh, but there are some notable new rugs and wall hangings to just uh, to give this shop a bit more of a Nordic look. Uh, now, uh, because this is a random power mod, uh, there can't just be one version of Nordic Dagenfell. 
Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, like most random Palmons, there is at least a thousand, a thousand different versions for you to choose from. Oh, okay, okay, I exaggerate. But uh, yes, uh, there is an optional version of Nordic Dagenfell uh, that was just added in after the release of Dagenfell Redone, uh, which offers an, a, just an even more Nordic looking Dagenfell. Uh, basically, uh, this optional replacer just uh, takes some uh, pretty clear inspirations from Dagenfell Redone, and uh, replaces the shacks in Dagenfell with Nordic versions from Tamriel Data. Uh, while still keeping that mix of common Nordic architecture just, uh, in, you know, intermingled with the shacks here. Uh, so, uh, this uh, this doesn't go quite as far as Marcon did with Dagenfell Redone. It, uh, it only replaces some of the shacks and docks, and it uh, doesn't replace the tavern, tower, or shop. But uh, this, this mixed style here does look, I think, just rather nice and offers a good middle ground for those wanting just a, you know, just a bit of both mods. And uh, like Dagenfall Redone, uh, this also includes some interior overhauls, including, most notably, a, a just a more aggressively overhauled Into the World Tavern, with a lot of new Nordic furniture, just, you know, from Tamriel Data, as well as a new fireplace, uh, some more of those lovely and atmospheric chandeliers, and just lots of other just cozy new furnishings. Uh, the new shack interiors uh, do just kind of fall just a bit into the same pitfall as their Dagenfall Redone counterparts. Uh, as you'll once again note that those fire pits are built right on top of wooden floors. It, uh, it, it's really a mystery how this entire village just hasn't burned to the ground yet, but uh, regardless, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is a really great alternative for Nordic Dagenfell. Uh, personally, you know, I just, I really like both of these mods, but uh, obviously, uh, you, you can only choose one. So hopefully, uh, this showcase can just, can help you make that choice. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to see here, so uh, that's, uh, that's just our mod of the day. As always, uh, I've been your host, Rock Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, uh, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.